it is time for the catch up and as we know he's widely known for his break our character of andile in the classic south african uh, drama series chacha to the past he played in etv's hustle and so, uh, several other roles just before taking a breather to perhaps sharpening his uh, directing skills behind the scenes uh, skills as well south africa's most memorable tv stories he has produced and directed shows like intersections Gauteng Mabuneng, as well as greed and desire and of course there's plenty plenty more now i'm joined in studio by the man himself sisanda henna Good morning. Thanks for joining Good morning, us. Good morning, Lisa. Thank you. That is quite the resume. Thank you for joining us on this couch yes. this morning. And we're here to update that little bio because I think it's changed somewhat. I, I can't wait to delve in. So let's look at your background, how you started everything. I mean, how would you say you got, uh, you fell in love with acting and, and, and the arts industry at large? I would say I fell in love with it in high school. So I went to uh, a high school in a small town called Graf Renet which is in the Eastern Cape. Have you heard of such a place? I have. I, I know that they're, they're experiencing some droughts there. Yes, it's um, in the So Kuru. it's actually a yes. really dire state. But, I mean, you, you managed to obviously hail from there, and, yes. and now you're able to represent your people. And now I represent my people, and this was the first play I did in high school there that actually made me fall in love with acting. Like, And then I knew. I said, I have to do this. Mm. So from there, when I was, what, I was 14, and I won, it was an interhouse play, mm. and I won the Best Supporting Actor Award. And that was the beginning of the journey. Uh, mm. and, but ironically, I couldn't actually go to film school when I finished okay. because it was like the finances to go there. Plus, my parents were like, we're not sure if that's going to make sure that you get a job. So I actually started IT. So I'm a graduate software engineer. And, uh, but then I started out working as an extra, and I really wanted this and kind of self-taught until I got my first audition. And then, which was just before Chacha, -cha, I did a show called Soul City. Hmm. I, I don't know if you would remember that. I actually was alive for that. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not too young. I'm not too young. I've been around. Yeah. And, um, and then I did, after that, I got Chacha, -cha, hmm. which was like one of the, the hit drama shows at the time. Yeah. How would you say you evolved, your, 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 um, your acting styles evolved, um, you, you personally as well um, throughout the ages? I mean, as you mentioned, you, you were self-taught in a sense, but mm -hmm. as you graduated within the industry and gained experience, how would, how would you measure that growth for yourself? I still go for lessons now. Wow. Um, I, and I work with different coaches depending on like, the kind of work that I, that I need to do. I believe like, I'll never stop learning. Uh, and stop mastering that. And also, it's an art, right? So everything is still organic as you create, right? And so, so I then had this bug, like I wanted to direct, I wanted to get behind the camera, and, and that in itself is just, it's a, it's a whole amazing world. Mm -hmm. For me, just the tools, like what you do with editing and the music and, and all of that, just, it fascinated me so much. And the, so I, I, made, I made a decision. I've got to learn, I've got to get a mentor. And so I interned and I worked really hard. I would, you know, get books, go home and study, get videos. And my mentors would give me opportunities and I began to direct. Mm. And it was the same thing with producing. Sure. But then when I was on Greed and Desire, I yeah. remember directing a, those actors were just so amazing. I remember I was working with Zulu Boy. So, so he's a musician slash actor. Mm. And I, w I sat behind the monitor. He was playing the scene and I started crying. Well, also just because it was beautiful, right? And I was like, oh my, I've got to do this. And so he, see, he saw me now in one of the premieres of, of some of my new work as an actor. And he says, boy, you did it. And I said, man, do you know where this comes from? It was like after years of not doing it, directing and producing, you guys inspired me so much. I was like, let's get back in there. So then I started you know, going to lessons and going back to interviews. I mean, doing auditions. Gee whiz. I mean, so, so earlier on you spoke about your resume being updated. I mean, um, Agent just uh, debuted in December on Netflix. Yes. And I mean, this is now, uh, what, the latest offering you had amongst many offerings for 2020. What was that experience like for you, knowing that, I mean, it's a global platform? That, whew, and it's still growing, right? Yeah. So it's like, pick, you'll find people in Atlanta just like, They'll find us on Twitter or they'll find us so, so on social media anyway. And they'll be like, man, I just finished binging the entire show. When is second season? What's going to happen to Lesejo? Uh, but I'm also really excited that SABC is going to have it uh, starting Sunday night um, on yeah, SABC 1 at 930. Um, just people who don't have access to Netflix sure. can get it on, on uh, 
You exactly. shot in Mauritius. Correct. I mean, what a, what a job. Well, what was <laughs> that like? It's oh, like, what a hard life. Oh. Right? I mean, <laughs> yeah. you've earned the stripes to get there. But, but literally, practically, logistically, what time would you wake up? What, what was a typical day like for you All right, in so Mauritius? We, we became islanders. Oh. Uh, so it's beautiful. I mean, even just waking up like in a tropical climate, it's just, for me, it was so amazing. You could run on the beach, have a little swim before you go to set. Um, and so we actually kind of, we kind of lived in Mauritius for maybe three and a half months. And I have two little boys. Mm. So it was school holidays and I, I said to the production, listen, guys, my kids need to come over. And they arranged it and they came over and they, you know, spent some time while we were filming there. So that was a lot of fun. Mm. Mauritius as a filming destination has grown a lot since the government released a rebate. Mm. So that rebate has attracted a lot of productions from all over the world. Mm. Yeah. I'm speaking about your son, speaking about co-parenting with Bonnie. I mean, this is also an evolution that you've had to uh, undertake uh, throughout your journey. How would you describe that experience for yourself? The, 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 the what exactly? Just having two kids, but having to also co-parent. Um, right. I guess re-looking at what would you define as parenting I, and traditional methods of, of raising a family. Yeah, I like mm. what you're saying. The main thing was re-looking at it. Mm. Um, and I remember my sister had a conversation with me once because I used to beat myself up over a failed marriage, right? And she said, but who's saying anything failed? Who said you failed, right? And I, that was, I'd gone through a depressed state there. Um, and she helped me to just re-look at it to a place where, no, 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 it was a season of something. Now it's a season of a different thing. Both of you guys love your kids and you're committed to being uh, great parents and being there for them. So, I, so the, the shifting, the, just the perspective and how you look at it became amazing. So now it's almost like we can approach everything as an adventure. I'm so proud. My son, Mikaya, if you can see this son. I'm super, super proud of you. My son won his swimming gala competition on Friday. Wow. For breaststroke, stroke, front stroke, freestyle. So he, he's, he swam three. The freestyle he tied at number one. Oh, wow. And then he did uh, butterfly and backstroke. Wow. And so he's got stamina. He's got stamina. Wow. And my youngest boy, I think he's actually going to be an MMA fighter. He's like, he's skilled, whether boxing or kickboxing. He's got so much energy, like his dad, the youngest boy. So uh, you can see I'm a proud dad. So, so how would you say you've um, chosen to become the best version of yourself, to, to emulate that to your kids and, and I guess to all those watching you as an actor, as a brother, as a son? Yeah, that's a very good question, Lisa. I'm glad. So I think it takes intention and asking yourself the right questions. Because mm. uh, you're saying I've, I've shaped myself to become the best version of myself. Yeah. One of my mentors says to me, we, we underestimate the power of decision because we can decide to be something. We can decide to have something. We can decide to take certain actions. The rest is almost going to follow, follow that. But when you say, I am going to do this, that intention, like that, that begins the, the whole journey, the, the beginning of the unfolding that you want to see. Mm. So I, it's, it's definitely the power of decision that makes you be that thing, right? Because it's like... One day you weren't this, you dreamt of being this, sitting here and having this, and one, and one day you were like, I'm going to do that. You yeah. pursued it, and now you have it. But there's millions of other girls who are like, one day I think I want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess it's probably also understanding your purpose, to know that it's not just about what you're doing, it's probably what you're trying to give through that medium. Thank you. Yes. yes. So what would you say is, is um, that, that legacy project you're working on within yourself? What, what do you aim to impart through your, your work? I want, to, I want to be the picture of possibility. Wow. Yeah. Sure. Fuck that. So in everything I do, movies that I make, talking to people, how I show up in the world, I, mm. I want to be that. Mm. And like now, currently, I've got a new drama series that we're going to be filming. And uh, I'm starting a, 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 a relationship with Planet Fitness because we're like, I need to look a certain way for this project. And I've got like these goals. Now, listen. Physical transformation can be a challenge. Yes. You have to work. I guess like you guys have to get up and be here at a certain time, being at the gym and eating in a certain way. Yeah. So in three months from now, I'm going to look completely different. And uh, I look forward to chatting to you then. Oh, great. So we'll have you back. See, Sunder, thank you for sharing your story. Thank you for healing us through your art. And, and, and may you continue to embrace the year of 2020. I can't wait to see what you have in store for us. Thank you so much.
all the ever charming actor, filmmaker, speaker, Sisanda Henna. Uh, indeed, what a pleasure to have had him in studio on the catch up this morning. Now,